<laughs> Dude, all right, let's up was good guys. We're live outside the thrift store. This lady is lugging so many bags. I hope that is me uh, when I leave this thing. Fingers crossed that will be the case. But what's up, guys? We have a brand new trip to the thrift. We're gonna save money, um, look fresh for less, and make money all at the same time by finding some vintage clothes in the thrift store. Uh, yeah, dude. First and foremost, I want to shout out everyone who's dropped these comments. I love you guys, man. Thank y'all so much. Everyone subscribing, smashing the like button, and just showing love in general on the website thriftvintage.com. And uh, yeah grabbing some gear it really does help me out so thank y'all so much and without further ado let's go all right guys we are live in the building and i have perused through pretty much every section and i have not had a day like this in forever just look at the cart this thing is loaded down from top to bottom so pretty much i came in just grabbed anything i thought i might get so some things i'll probably leave but most of the items i'm definitely copying so first and foremost man we got a goal in the building you have the mexico fifa world cup 2018 seven dollar jersey absolutely beautiful clifford skin tone seven dollar tommy for your mommy essential sweater bro you have the mickey mouse running with the flag this texture is so soft. Oh, seven? seven? It feels like I'm petting a caterpillar, bro, which is just very luxurious, obviously. It almost is like a, a felt-like texture. And then you have this Fila Flamer. This is new school, but I love the color blocking on it, man. It's just that little heater, bro. Then you got that uh, Hushman Zada jersey. My guy, what? Bro, big bangle, you feel me? But then this one, see, I get some like more newer pieces, like mid 2000s, just because they look so clean. And the quality on this is unreal. Oh, Patriots unreal. fleece, got a blacked out Nike hoodie, kind of mock neck teched out, okay. Got a North Face Denali, okay, eight bucks. It says as is, so I feel like the zipper might be broken. Trip. Do you have Chief Blackhawk, bro, Lee Sport, vintage, cutting no corners, bro all stitched in ribboning patchwork it's amazing then you have the polo ralph lorenis jacket crispy essential kind of like a bagel skin tone but speaking of bagels my guys you have the pillsbury doughboy pullovers and not just one of them we doubled up we got two of them things they're only three dollars each bro on the vintage lee pullovers these are absolutely amazing kind of like a sandstorm yeezy color scheme uh you have the oregon ducks satin jacket absolutely beautiful and then this piece right here man shout out everyone diligently willing to smoke tons of packs of cigarettes to redeem the free merchandise at the end of that lung cancerous road twenty dollar this thing is double layered with the vest on the inside Whoa. plaid on the interior bro interior zips just look at the bronze golden buttons bro this thing is just swagnificent that's an obvious purchase uh then more jackets like i'm telling you guys this is not stopping got the baltimore ravens this has a slight ringworm infestation Ew. but i think i can get it out that old school pro line reebok tag nice. you have a reversible nike big check white on one side salt and pepper dynamic Perfect. heavy little down piece i also found an ac milan jersey see guys like we're turning the camera upside down that's how much just glorious fire is in here and i think that's why like global warming is a thing bro it's just these thrifts um you have the tommy for your mommy jacket whoa i just noticed all that booty stain <laughs> Damn, this definitely would have been a pickup, but that's unfortunate. It is reversible. I might have to pass on this ash. Uh, you have the Kelso-esque 90s primary colored jacket, except this is more like a 70s style. I don't know why I said 90s, but it's like the classic 90s color scheme, JC Penny brand. And then last but not least, this is the first thing I saw when I came in, that vintage Auburn down jacket. Bro, we hit a lick. Damn ice cream cone and already clash dude we are out of there we have two huge bags full of stuff and then we have two more that are on the ground dude i will tell y'all this this is one of the most absurd like trip to the thrift days i've had in forever like straight up like i can't even remember having one of these days probably since 20 like 15 2014 
And then I also found this jacket, which was on the racks in there, which is just nuts. It was like behind the uh, registrar. And I got it for 15 bucks. Let me show y'all this, man. This is an absolute beauty. Wow, that is dark. True. I got the Houston Texans leather jacket. I think this is paint or like the leather scratched off. I don't know what's going on right there, but it just looks super sick. It's brand new with tags and they were charging only 30 bucks for it. Thank the Lord. It is that low quality like faux leather, um, that pleather. But yeah, guys, one bag, two bag, three bags and a fourth bag. So that's just how we're rocking, man. That's how we're starting off today's trip to the thrift. Um, dude, it just hit insane, bro. All right, let's proceed to the next day, next spot, wherever else this video picks up. All right, guys, well, I guess the next spot is in another thrift store, because thus here we are. But look at this vintage team NFL alarm clock. This is really cool. I might just throw this in an order. Um, but yeah, I got half off in this store as well. So I figured I'd show y'all some things I grab. Um, this bad boy right here is just for Paul Plant too. So I'm gonna put some snake plants up in here. It's gonna be like a dollar and 15 cents. So that'll be cool. And I guess because I'm only going to a couple stores today, I'll actually show y'all what I do with some of the pieces. Now, um, that excludes these because I'm gonna do some customs on the frames of a couple of essentials that I got. So I have this essential two-tone kind of uh, algae color scheme with the navy polo. Got a Carhartt essential that's going on the site. This bad boy right here to the Nebraska Cornhuskers, bro. This is all embroidered. Shout out everyone in Nebraska one time, bro. If you're from Nebraska, let me know. But yeah, um, link in description if you guys would like this piece. And then this is a clean high fashion essential. The Chaps Ralph Lauren. Look at the attention to detail, man. It kind of has that Mexican blanket-esque plaid texture. Now it is going to be like 12 bucks, so that's nice. But the detail in the zipper, the detail on this pocket, absolutely amazing, elongated. I might show you guys how to rock this, but I was thinking I would have this on the outer shell of the outfit, and then I would have this bad boy on the interior. Like I'm telling you, these two would be a killer combo. Um, and then we got a couple more blanks. Someone tried to roast my ass for picking up a jersey like this or even showing it off in a video. Obviously, I didn't buy it because here I am. But you know what? I'm going to buy this and I'm going to transform it, make a tutorial and shit on them. So, yeah, going to get this um, metaphor metaphorically and literally. All right. I also have a couple of essential vintage crew necks. I love the logo. The Redskins logo goes hard. I do believe it was drawn by a Native American, but obviously the name of the team is clearly um, not meant for the 2020s, if I must say so myself. Now this piece, I was very excited to actually find, excuse me, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It has that classic Aquaberry purple and aqua color scheme. It's gonna be like six bucks today, and there is a reversible two-tone interior to the jacket so yeah you're getting three jackets in one which is just a mega deal and then uh this jacket also is very cool it is the puma you guys know it's puma life for life i'm actually rocking them today you have the uh st louis rams puma exclusive or i guess la rams this doesn't um denote a city which is amazing because it can be whatever city you want it to be bro so yeah even in the future if they go to like three other destinations this would still be relevant and then i got a couple more just blanks and essentials that i'm gonna do some customizations with wait hold on before we go i found a couple more things i don't know what's going on if people are just blind but look at these vintage adidas pants that i found and i came to this store super super late like on both legs it has the adidas logo it has that easy access side like leg buttons adidas right there dude also got the hogwarts alumni hat amazing and this super old school um arizona cardinals logo seven crew neck and all right ladies and gentlemen so we are officially back after the trip to the thrift 
in my very well organized um, office area. Anyways, hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. If you did, as the usual, please drop a comment, like, subscribe, do all of that. And of course, the best way to support me is on my website, thriftaventage.com. There's a link in the video description and I am back from vacation, so the drops are gonna be happening way more frequently. So brace yourselves, prepare, follow the Instagram and all of that jazz. But thank you guys once again for watching. Live the dream, eat that ice cream, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life I rules to. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to. You should get used to. You should get used to.